Now for your radiators, you've got a separate unit here. This is another electric unit, but this is a boiler. Call it a flow boiler. And that does your radiators. So you've got this pump at the bottom here. That pumps around the radiators. It pumps water into this unit. It gets hot as it goes through it and then goes at the top. That's a flow pipe. <clears throat> and then that goes down like that. And then that's gonna to go to the radiators. So this one is gonna to go to the radiators around the system. We call this a wet system, so you've got electric boiler which goes to radiators and heats them up. So any questions on that? No, I think that was pretty clear. You've got this display, so when the timer is calling for heat, you'll have this call light that'll display, that'll come on. When it's on, you get like a yellow bar or a green bar which goes up, showing that the unit is on. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Last thing is this gauge, this pressure gauge. You've got a seal system, so you need to get it topped up just a little bit more than what it is now. It wants to be just over one, so where the red needle is, you need a black needle to be the same. So what you do, you got this lever there, you turn that lever to 12 o'clock or 11 o'clock slowly and you'll hear the water go in and you watch it till the black needle meets the red needle and then close it back to the position where it's in now Okay. and then that's it. So maintain that and it'll be okay. Other thing, if you do vent the radiators, letting the air out, you've then you've got to come back here and top it back up because you will lose pressure if you let the air out of the radiators. So that's going to be the end of the video. So if you like it, you can um, subscribe to our channel, give us a comment, I'll be glad to hear from you. And you can share it with you and your family and friends as well. So that's it from me and I'll see you on the next video.